So this has been graduation season. I've given commencement addresses. Well, actually, I've given commencement address one seven years ago at Fisher College in the Back Bay. And I was really excited to have been asked. The day before, there's an article in the Globe. It was entitled, Big Names at the Podium. And my Google self-search notification indicated that I was in it. Yes, and I was, like this. There was talk that Senator Scott Brown was the first choice of a lot of schools. After saying that one local college got him, the story continued. Thomas McGovern, president of Fisher College, was not so lucky. We wanted Scott Brown because obviously he was hot. I put out a couple of feelers, was basically told to forget it because he was so popular. The school settled for TV host Jim Browdy instead. Hey, Tom Brady was a sixth round pick too. Regardless, I went back and looked at what I said to those graduates and thought I'd share some of it with you since based on the seven year hiatus, I'm not expecting another invitation anytime soon. By the way, it wasn't a speech, it was rather a list. And since I thought it'd be presumptuous to tell the kids how to live, I told them 10 ways not to live. And here are a few with my thoughts now. Avoid a life where you're always surrounded by people and sound and images. Try spending some time with yourself. You might actually learn to like yourself. I tried it. Still working on the getting to like part. Two, but avoid a life where you're always alone. Clever, huh? I said lack of feeling of belonging. Failure to join forces with others. No sense of community causes great, a great sense of alienation. An unfulfilled life, and often worse, that one I nailed. Of course, lifting the idea from Bob Putnam with his great book, Bowling Alone, helped. Three, Avoid ever seeing anyone else in peril or suffering misfortune as them. You are or could be them. I like to think I live that one. Four, avoid becoming captive of the technology which is supposed to set us free. I haven't done so well on this one. I am so phone obsessed, I texted myself the other day by mistake. I said something about avoiding buttered popcorn, but I'm too embarrassed to repeat that, though it did generate the most applause. And I close with this. Avoid following just your head. I know it's hard for people with good brains and good educations and probably won't please your teachers, but let me put it another way. Allow yourself to follow your heart, not just in matters of love, but career and all things. Okay, maybe not exactly Churchillian, but not bad either. Scott Brown, eat your heart out. What do you think this year's graduating class should embrace or avoid? Why don't you email us, tweet us, share your thoughts.